Hey guys, welcome back to another video on making a MOBA character. In part 7 of the tutorial series, we'll be looking into unlocking and relocking our camera to the player, as well as having the camera moving around using the mouse at the edge of the screen. First, we're going to go to Unity and create a new script called Camera Roam. Then, open up in Visual Studios and have the variables public float cam speed equal to 20 and public float screen size thickness set to 10. We won't need the start method, so you can get rid of it, and heading down into the update method, have Vector3Pos equal to transform.position. To move the camera up the edge of the top side of the screen, write if input.mouseposition.y is greater than and equal to the screen.height minus screen size.thickness, pos x minus equals the cam speed times time.delta time. Since my camera is in a negative y rotation, I would need to get the x position instead of the z. The commented lines in the script are meant to be the correct lines of code if your camera weren't to have a negative rotation. You can test out which one best works for you just in case you want to play around with it. For moving the camera screen down, copy and paste the up direction, changing the greater than and equal to to a less than and equal to. Then, having pos.x plus equal cam speed times time.delta time. I'll just copy and paste the downward script again for the right direction. Change the input.mouse position to x instead of y and have greater than equal to rather than less than equal to. And pos.x change to pos.z. I'll copy and paste one more time for the left direction, changing it to less than and equal to, and the pos.z minus equals instead of plus equals. To finish off the script, have transformed the position equal to the pos. I did forget to change a few bits in the down and left direction. I went back and had to remove the screen.height in both the if statements to make it work properly. Once you do that, we'll head back into Unity. We'll add the camera room script to the main camera and disable the camera follow for testing purposes. Once I press play, you can see I can move the screen freely around the, with a mouse touching the edge of the screen. Now that's done, all we need to do is toggle it between free roam and a camera follow script. This part is fairly simple. Create a new script called Cam Switch Manager and open it in Visual Studios. The variables we'll need are public camera follow called camera follow script, public camera roam called camera roam script, and a ball called cam view changed, which is set to false. Going down to the update method, I'll just write a debug.log to know whether or not my camera view is changed. This is totally up to you. I just like seeing if it's working or not. Then write if camview.change is set to false. Do another if statement where if input.getKey down key code E camViewChanged is equal to true. Also have camRoomScript.enabled equal to true and camerafollowscript.enabled equal to false. Else if we'll do the exact opposite of what we just did. So else if camView.change is equal to true and then you press the E key again cam view change will equal to false. Having the camera roam script dot enable equal to false and the camera follow script dot enabled back to true. Going back to Unity, drag the script into the camera, making sure that you turn back the camera follow and drag both the camera follow script and the camera roam script component into the inspector. Once I press play, you can see it's locked onto the player and you can't really move it yet. But once I press E, it can move freely around with your mouse. Then you can press E again and it'll snap back to the player and having it follow him again. That's pretty much it for this video. I know I haven't been uploading lately. I've been busy working on my own personal projects, but I'll try and get these tutorials out as quickly as I can. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.